glipizide, trade name Glucotrol, is a medication used for type 2 diabetes. This is one of the oral anti-diabetic. What it does is it stimulates the release of insulin and also increases sensitivity to insulin to thereby lower blood glucose levels. Its therapeutic class is anti-diabetic. Pharmacologic class is sulfonylureas. So the way that it really works is a type 2 diabetic would be able to take oral antidiabetics, meaning they can just take pills, they can take metformin, glipizide, things like that to help lower their blood sugar. And the way, like I mentioned, that it works is, is as they take this medication, it actually stimulates the pancreas to release insulin and then increases our cells' sensitivity to insulin. And by doing that, it's going to create more insulin in the blood to help our cells to use insulin to bring glucose into the cell. And that then is going to lower our blood glucose level. A couple things you want to keep in mind with the glucotrol or glipizide is that you want to instruct your patient on how to check their blood sugars. A type 2 diabetic should be very familiar on how to check their blood sugars and how to sense the signs of hypoglycemia. And they always need to be carrying something with them, a source of sugar in case they uh, experience hypoglycemia. 15 grams of sugar, a couple lifesavers, a quick glass of orange juice, something to be able to bring their blood glucose up if it drops too low. Another thing to keep in mind is if your patient's also taking beta blockers, the beta blockers can mask the signs of hyperglycemia. They can even create signs of hypoglycemia. So where they may not be hypoglycemic, beta blockers can actually create signs of this. There's a couple things that the glipizide can actually cause. It can cause aplastic anemias. It can cause dizziness, drowsiness, headache, diarrhea, photosensitivity. And you want to assess your patient's allergy to to sulfonamides, okay, to these sulfa type drugs. You want to assess if they have any sort of allergies to these types of medications. But the biggest thing I really want you to keep in mind here is the importance of teaching your patient how to take their blood sugar, when to take their blood sugar, and how to recognize signs of hypoglycemia. And that they really need to be taking their blood sugars daily and monitoring their blood sugars continuously to make sure that, you know, if their blood sugar is 40 and they take their glipizide, it could really bottom their blood sugar out. And so they really need to keep in mind they always need to have something on hand to help raise their blood sugar. They need to be really vigilant in taking their blood sugars and checking, you know, where it's at throughout the day. So that is glipizide, trade name Glucotrol. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.